Today it's car day. Cheap car day. Let's go. So we are on our way to Friesland. Or should we call it just Friesland? Friesland. Friesland. Uh, to pick up. The north. <laughs> Winter is coming. Uh, to pick up. A very very cheap car uh, as you might have seen we've done a community post asking you guys what is the fastest car you can get for 2,000 euros well we have our eyes on one of your suggestions which is a V40 T4 in green grandpa spec alert British racing green with the BBS wheels and this is the one we're going to look at today wow what an awesome car uh, as you might know I used to own one of these not too long ago so I'm this was my dream car I had the 1.8 Europe with a mighty 110 horsepower indestructible car <laughs> it, it really was indestructible uh, but this was just an absolute dream but it was just <laughs> it was too expensive <laughs> it was too expensive at the time yeah. uh, if you can believe it it was like what is it four years ago not too long ago eh? actually uh, four or five years yeah, ago four or five yeah so yeah it's been uh, quite a journey since i but, was driving the jaguar and you were driving the volvo right? yeah you yeah. were driving the, the old, old smoky, old smoky. <laughs> and i drove the, the v40 but yeah what a beautiful car I, I, we still love this i mean we have such a love for hunting down bargains you know we're Dutch <laughs> but we love cheap cars so onwards <laughs> do the German exercises <laughs> so welcome to the north of the Netherlands where nothing really exists yeah which is why we live in the south they do have some great cheap cars over here. Jesus. I see a beauty. Wow. She is gorgeous. Oh yeah. Skin! It even has ESP. Can't believe it. Mine didn't have that. Let's go. So this is basically what we looked like uh, four years ago with a lot of crap in the back of the Volvo and a smoking black smoke exhaust Jaguar X-Type diesel. And a nice smoke. Oh, good times. <laughs> even more <laughs> so apparently this is a v40 problem the headlining that starts to come off well the seller has done a very good job of fixing that it, with these pins it does remind me of the rolls-royce skyline yeah definitely what a machine what a machine love it to bits Okay, so we just checked the heating works. It gets super hot and the air conditioning works as well. So it cools nicely. Uh, we've got Bluetooth audio stuff right there. <laughs> it's got cruise control. I mean, honestly, I like buying cheap cars better than expensive cars. Yeah, because you're always surprised at what you do have. It's, it's amazing. It, it always, it's always fun because you're looking at stuff 
in a in a different way. I mean, he's asking 1750 euros. That's the price of probably like the fire extinguisher in your Ferrari. Yeah. You can buy an entire car for 1750 euros. That works really well. So the seller is actually a mechanic um, and he lives in the north, which everyone knows that those are the most honest people. Yeah. Don't go to the west if you buy a car. No, this is, I mean, I would buy this car blindly already. So we've got a beautiful corner here. Some water there. Oh my God, look at the scenery. The indicator doesn't self cancel. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Wow. I have to get used to that. Okay, let's give it some. Reaction vid. not bad <laughs> nice little drag strip here what's not to love it's just that the indicator won't self cancel that's going to be really frustrating I think no you'll get used to that pretty quickly or am I wrong Heated mirrors. Love it, absolutely love it. Gorgeous BBS wheels. Brakes are not bad either. British racing grid. Grandpa Volvo, what's not to love with 200 horsepower, which I think most of them are still there. I think so, yeah. And then we've got this exhaust that the current owner made. Give me some, yeah, give me some sound. True test. Will the, it survive, Max? The grandpa of automotive journalism. <laughs> well, at least the color will. Oh! Wow. That lowered suspension doing its job. Wow, the G. G-forces are that insane. That is really not bad at all. That is honestly... I like the blow-off style I, sound. It's, it's a really silky engine. It runs so smoothly. Did they use it in any other car other than the S50 I th and yeah, the V40? I think, I think the, the previous uh, Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow, I think they used this engine <laughs> as well. I think it's, <laughs> it's that it's silky. so yeah. silky. But honestly, this came out in 1996, the yeah. T4. 200 horsepower, two, two liter. That was incredible for that time. Yeah. And no one ever talks about this car, no one. No, I, I, indeed. And I like the lightweight concept as well. I mean, just yeah. look at the release of the seatbelt. It's on both sides. Yeah, they made a hole in there. Weight too. reduction. Yeah, that's incredible. Rear wiper works as well. Show me. Wow. Yeah, love it. It's as good as we could have hoped for, right? Yeah. I mean, it's better. Yeah, it is. First 
time fueling up and as you can see it actually needs 98 in order to have that 200 horsepower so only the best stuff for my new baby it is getting expensive though 60 liters now of course the radio is absolutely shit doesn't do anything Like it should be with cheap cars. There he goes. We are nearly at the office and uh, the V40 has done over 200 kilometers and it's still working. That's the good news. The bad news is that I felt a bit of an insecurity at higher speeds like 150 plus on the front axle. So really have to check what the issue is over there. Uh, and well, what are we going to do? Well, we are going to have it checked. Uh, entirely to make sure that it's suitable for an autobahn run so uh, yeah maybe put it on a dyno see if it still has all its horses and see if it's all too good to be true or maybe it's actually the bargain of the century bye guys